my presentation is about uh, Y chromosome analysis uh, in general, so the YSTR typing in forensics in special, and I'm going to present the uh, impact on new technologies, the new kits, and new databases to the community. Usually when you have a sexual assault case, for example, you have um, observing a mixture, and the mixture doesn't help you in a lot of cases, so if you just in investigating into the Y chromosome, you will find in a male and female mixture only one Y chromosome. And you can uh, face down uh, here um, a lot of information uh, about the Y chromosome and you don't observe a mixture like an autosomal. The impact in general would be uh, to combating uh, the crime in general, but uh, on a special uh, um, um, thought on the Y chromosome, it's, uh, did it get even broader used? the Y chromosome and it, it's, uh, um, its impact uh, in, in casework and in court get even more uh, present. Usually when you deal with Y chromosome you, you will ask yourself often uh, about the frequency of the observed Y profile. So what you need is obviously a database and in the um, zero day years, <laughs> I don't know, 2000, um, we established um, the database as a main source um, and as a reference sample, uh, sampling database for the world to uh, retrieve uh, the haplotype frequencies, which is the major um, um, aim of the database. But over the years, a lot of tools have been built up upon this data, this amazing data set. And um, we are very glad to, uh, that the YHADR uh, database is now such a great tool for researchers and casework report officers as well. Thank you.